Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Deluxe Edition. Now, before we get any further along, uh, it's full disclosure time because I'm the kind of goon that believes in that sort of thing. This uh, save file that we are currently playing on is not the same save file that we had started the game with. Uh, this is unfortunately for a number of reasons. One of those reasons being that everyone was calling our main character Zelda and I didn't want to keep getting confused. The other being that we had died fighting the boss of Tail Cave. And it's come to my attention that the ending changes slightly if you can get through the game without dying. So I'm going to aim for that. I'm going to try to get through the entirety of the game without any deaths. The other thing is that we had done this already. I had gone through all of this before, uh, a few days ago, recorded this, well, a few days ago for me, who knows when it was for you guys, and none of it recorded. And that was a shame. But now we are ready to start playing again. So we finished Tail Cave, and we collected the Rock Feather, which allows us to bounce around and jump. We also found our first musical instrument. That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first, I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Gopanga Swamp. <laughs> Indeed. You know, I'm thinking about it, and I'm probably making more like pigeon noises than, than owl hoots. But our next stop, Gopanga Swamp. Oh, hey kids. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, real serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. Uh, a whole gang of Moblins, then. It's, it's for real. They all went to the, the house? Yeah, that house, and and then they did something at, at Bow Wow's house. It was really a bad scene with mob, my Moblins. So, I mean, uh... It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Well, quick, back to town. Huh? And the chain chomp is not here anymore. Oh, the music is still panicked. Hey, it's terrible! My bow wow was dog napped by m moblins. Oh, oh, please, somebody help my poor bow wow. Well, we are the hero of time, and legend, and everything, so we will go help Bow Wow. Luckily, I know where Bow Wow is, so we don't have to spend too much time searching for him. And with the Rock Feather, we can get there pretty quickly. We also reached some new places that we couldn't get to before. This is actually not the way we want to go. This, on the other hand, is. Remember that heart piece from earlier? Well, now we can get one more piece of heart, and we'll get another heart container. The windfish in name only, for it is neither. Oh, that's kind of cryptic. Eh? Who's this suspicious-looking runt? Okay, boys. Let's get rid of him. Well, it looks like we found the moblin lair. 
Bring it on, bring it on. I'll take your one. Alright, it is mini boss time. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it's I who will get you. Alright, so mini boss time. This guy is gonna huck spears at us and then try to charge us. If we can dodge when he charges, he'll run into the wall and stun himself. That's when we want to hit him with our sword. We could also use our shield to block the arrows and the spears, but I have just as easy a time walking around. Ah, he got stuck on our sword there. Come on, you. You see, we can't hurt him at all unless he's stunned. But he is all done. And we get a fairy as our reward. And there's a doggy. You saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! Now Bow Wow is going to wander around with us. And Bow Wow is actually a pretty useful ally to have. Because he can do a number of things to help us out in our quest. The most important thing is he can get us to the next dungeon. <laughs> that is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gopanga Swamp. Now, one of the useful things he can do is eat enemies. And if he eats an enemy, they may still drop their item. This is the graveyard. And you see that ghost over there floating around? Well, that is the only enemy here, unless we start touching these gravestones. And more ghosts will start to appear. Including a big one. I think it's random whether or not a big one or a small one shows up. But we can only hurt the original one. In fact, I should probably start working on hurting the original one. I am pretty banged up as it is. I've lost track of which one is the original one. Well, there's only two little ones, so it shouldn't be... Oh, I walked off screen. You know what? It's probably better that way. We are actually a lot more banged up than I would like to be. That's better. We are in the graveyard for a reason. And that is to get down here. Because there is our next piece of part. Oh, he fell. We want to try to make this weird jump here, and then jump that way. With four pieces of hearts, we have a new heart container, and our health gets restored. Which is good for me, because I was getting kind of beat up. Alright, now, I'm going to try to keep my eyes on the correct ghost over there. Because even though we can only hurt the original ghost, if we can defeat it while all these other ghosts are out, they will all drop items. Not bad. Right, cemetery, down, Yukulu Prairie. And we're actually over by the witch's hut. Good dog, Bow Wow. And right up here is where we saved him. We've got a nice chunk of money. We are almost at the point where we can afford the shovel. And I would actually like to get that before we start our next leg of the journey. 
We need more money. I don't want to spend too much time making you guys watch me collect money. Now this house is one of the places we could not reach before. And if we check it out, we find this weird looking green haired guy. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. So Mr. Wright here, there's a very strong resemblance to Mr. Wright from the SimCity games. And we're done with him for the time being, but we'll get more uh, chances to interact with him. Rupees, not bad. That puts us real close to our 200 rupee goal. something like that, they eat your shield. Thankfully, we didn't have the shield equipped, so we weren't really in any major danger. We can take Bow Wow home if we really want to, but we need him for the next part of the, uh, the game. In fact, I think Madame Bow Wow will even ask us to take him out for a walk. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you brought my baby back. Now, will you be a dear and take him for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will? Thanks. So, yeah. We were stuck with dog sitting duty. But we do have enough money to buy the deluxe shovel. Deluxe shovel, 200 rupees. Seems expensive. Well, it is, but we need it. We don't need it now, but we will need it further in the game. And just like the shovel from, say, uh, Link to the Past, we can use it to dig up the ground. And we can find things. Most of the time it's just random little goodies like rupees and hearts and so forth. But if we dig in the right spots, we can find special treasure. Having Bow Wow with us, he'll help point out some of that special treasure. Roof! Dig! Roof! You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Well, I think we need something like 20 before something good will happen. Okay, before we run off, we're just going to poke our head in the shops again, because now the bombs are available to buy, and the bow is available to buy, but look how expensive that is. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we rack up that much cash. But maybe we can rack up 10 rupees real quick. And grab some bombs. Oh, we're doing pretty good so far. Now let's dig the whole place up. Now, 
Believe it or not, it's actually possible to steal these items. But we're not going to do that. At least, not yet. Ten bombs, ten rupees. Thanks a lot. Come again. And now that we have our bombs, we can start blowing open some of those walls we saw. And I think I will real quickly run back to Tail Cave so we can do just that. Unfortunately, Bow Wow will not join us when we go in the dungeons. We gotta do that by our lonesomes. Don't need that. A secret seashell. And trust me, they are worthwhile to collect as many of them as you can find. But that's enough screwing around for now. Let's head on to our next dungeon. chat room are warning me not to steal, and <laughs> that's good advice, actually. But we'll, 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 we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. I know, it's very heavy. I, I hope you're prepared to see that a lot. Because anytime Link goes near something that's heavy that can be lifted, he's going to tell you that. Danger, keep out. Except Bow Wow. Well, that gives you the hint that we want to take Bow Wow over here. Because Bow Wow can eat these flowers. We can also eat the fish. But we can handle the fish on our own. There we go, 50 rupees. Very nice indeed. We need him to eat these flowers, because there is our next dungeon. Ow. And we are in level 2, the Bottle Grotto. Bottle Grotto isn't too bad of a dungeon. Just want to keep your eyes open for everything, and also introduces a bunch of new enemies. Like over here, we have the Shy Guys, who when they're looking at us, we can't hurt. But if they're turned away... Yes, I know, it's very heavy. How will you ever lift it? OK, 
Okay, we've already got the compass. Now we can find all the keys, and we can even find the nightmare. flying when we hit him. But there is the stone beak. Now we can get all the clues from the owls. Maybe one of those clues is not to jump in the pits. is raised. Tap the blue crystal. Yep, that's a similar device that we saw in Link to the Past. We hit these and we can lift up and down these uh these parts of the floor. Very key heavy game. Oh, and there are the Shy Guys. I need more enemies from the Mario Brothers series. And we're not done with Mario Brother enemies yet. Okay, wasn't sure. Every block designed the same. A new path will open. And platforming time. one-way door, and it's mini-boss time. This big Cyclops guy is our opponent. He's not too tough, just be careful of the charges. I also think he throws bombs. But that don't matter, because we beat him. We get a fairy for our trouble. Oh! We get a fairy for our trouble. I fall to the floor. But we also get the teleporter, which will bring us back to the beginning of the dungeon. First defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice. Last, Stalfos. Yes, I know, it's very heavy. That's a hint on what we have to do in a later part of the game. And there's our next little uh, enemy, our tr little trap here. That vortex will pull us in towards it. But it is possible to destroy it. Unfortunately, it caught me and sent me back to the beginning. Ah. We don't need to destroy it, but it's one less thing to worry about if we do. And we got the map. And here's what our dungeon looks like. Not so bad, right? So remember how I mentioned Mario Brother enemies? Well, there are the boos. And boos normally normally don't like it when you look at them. So 
But these boos don't like it when you turn on the lights. And turning on the lights, we get the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. Yep, so if we put the power bracelet on, we start picking up pots and chucking them across the room. Uh oh. Small key. Oh, I was really hoping we'd send him flying into that pit. That's all right. Remember what the uh, Owl Statue told us? We have to defeat the imprisoned Pole Voice first, and then the Stout Pulse. The Pole Voice is that bunny-eared looking thing down there, and our weapons cannot deal with him. So what we're gonna do is grab one of these pots and huck it at him. Then we're gonna kill this bat, which I think is a priest or piece or something like that. And then there's the Stout Pulse. And now we have the Nightmare Key. Piranha Plants, more Mario Brother enemies. And like I mentioned, if you jump on a Goomba, it will drop a heart. Which is very useful if you happen to need some. I'm gonna use this teleporter real quick grab the treasure chest all the way back at the beginning of the dungeon. And with all the rupees we've collected, there was no way we couldn't get the shuffle if we didn't finish this. Alright, I'm gonna just take the stairs one more time. Because we are just about done with exploring this dungeon. especially good treasures in there, as I say that and grab a, uh, a fairy. Oh, but this platform won't sink. It's holding up our weight. It's straining to hold us up, though. So we need to add some more weight. Ah, that was too much for you, was it, tough guy? Alright, there is the door to the boss. Let's see if I can get to it this time without making an ass out of myself. Ho oh, ho ho! I'm your bad guy this time! Ho oh, ho ho! Nah, nah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle! And, well, he's right. This horrible genie-looking monster is invincible as long as his bottle is up and about. And he's gonna sit here hucking fire at us, then go back into his bottle and chase us around. I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. That's true. But we are strong enough to pick it up and huck it against the wall. Which gets the genie out again. Who 
taunts us again. So, we're going to try to get him ready to throw some fire at us. Run around the room dodging it. I actually, I don't know if our shield can block his fire. I don't think so. Yeah, nyeh, nyeh. Fucking fire at us. Oh, just keep moving. And I think this is the last time we need to whack his bottle against the wall. Wah, you broke my bottle! Why, you, you make me hopping mad! And now we can hurt him with our sword. He's gonna do more or less the same thing. He's gonna charge at us while uh, throwing his fire. But four swings and he's done. Now those four swings were of course with our spin attack, which does extra damage. And there is our next musical instrument. So, as usual, at the end of each dungeon, we are going to call it an episode. So, I thank you guys for watching, I hope you're enjoying it, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves. You've got the conch horn. Prairie, prairie, the prairie is waiting.